Hello friends, welcome to this online series of lectures on industry 4.0. In this particular session, we are going to learn about the strategic phase of the industry 4.0. So let's start. <coughs> so first of all, we will introduce the strategy phase. What do you mean by strategy for a company? Then we will look into the objectives of strategy, specifically for the industry 4.0. Then we will look into the framework of strategy phase for the industry 4.0. And finally, we will uh, see the timeline for the adoption of Industry 4.0. So let's start with the strategy phase. What do you mean by strategy? Strategy uh, is the direction set by the company. Now, company wants to set some goals. So company have to uh, set some goal in the near future. Now, to attain that goal, company will set about some directions. Right? These kind of directions are nothing but the strategies. So if we talk about in the ideation phase, the company will start with the idea phase, concept phase, conceptualization. From conceptualization, the company will go about planning about the resources. Resource planning will be there. Allocations of the resources will be there. After that, the company will look into the strategy phase. Or you can say the company will set the directions for the components so that the company will attain the goals in the near future or in the long term future. So that is the broaden uh, definition of strategy. If we talk about the industry 4.0 strategy, this is the recent survey by Deloitte company. And the com this survey suggests that only 10%, if you see here, only 10% of executives indicate that they have approached the strategic uh, management in, in terms of industry 4.0. If they are implementing industry 4.0, only 10% of executives, they accept that they have used strategy for implementing industry 4.0. Now, talking about the steps or you can see the phases of overall product development in case of new product development as well as the old, uh, you can say the existing product launches. Before that, we have the development phases. But before development phases, we have the strategy phase. So that is uh, indicated here with two uh, steps. First is the definition of strategy. In particular, uh, strategy phase, first of all, we have the strategy, de strategy definition. We will define the strategic measures the company wants to take. And then we will also define the technology, supporting technologies as a part of Industry 4.0 that the company wants to attain or you can say implement within the industry. So let's look into in detail about the framework of strategy. This is the outline of the strategy the company can uh, implement within uh, the industry so that they can use these kind of uh, uh, strategy for the stage approach to get the vision of industry 4.0. So let's start with the vision. What the vision of the industry 4.0 is the complete autonomy, not complete or partial autonomy, right? So starting with the first phase is the, what is happening? That is the first stage, right? Within the company, what is happening, right? Now to do that, what the data is, <coughs> the company will try to gather the, as much data as possible from the machineries, from the processes with the help of sensors and filters as we have discussed in the previous lectures, right? That is the case with what is happening, right? After that, now each and every step, if you see here, it shows here that each and every step is creating the value opportunity, right? From first phase, or you can say first stage, then we will go to the second, then and first what is happening and then why it is happening, right? Now, with, based on the data, the data is converted into information. Now here from information is converted into the knowledge, right? In this particular stage, the company will try to analyze the data. Data analytics will be there. And then finally, in the next uh, third stage, we will from the knowledge, uh, the company will convert that kind of knowledge into the wisdom, right? Based on the predictive uh, analysis and uh, whatever has, has been done in the previous stage, the company will try to get the wisdom out of that kind of knowledge, right? That is in this stage. So that the machineries can be, let's say, for example, if the machinery as frequent breakdowns, right? Based on this kind of analytics, the company will try to minimize that kind of breakdown with the help of that kind of knowledge, right? So what is the last phase? It is the complete autonomy. Autonomy in terms of machineries, in terms of processes. Now from wisdom to action. Starting in the first stage, we have <coughs> data to information, right? Whatever the data is there, 
we try to collect the information out of that uh, in, we try to gather the information out of that data in the next stage from the information so we try to get the knowledge right with the help of data analytics and artificial intelligence and machine learning right based on the cloud computing technology we try to analyze this kind of data then what we have from knowledge to gather the wisdom right so that the machineries can be optimized uh, fully uh, fully optimized or you can say it will it will be performing in an efficient manner after that in the final stage that is the ideal case in, in, in if you talk about in this uh, stage you can say autonomy stage where the machine can self optimize in case of any problems the machine can uh, they will be continuously monitoring <coughs> and they can adjust themselves to the uh, efficient parameters so that is the final uh, stage of industry 4.0 as a strategy strategy and all stage wise strategies has been applied so that you can attain the vision of the industry 4.0 so that is how this framework has been developed and <clears throat> it is just a rough outline but that is how you go about implementing the industry 4.0 as a strategy now talking about the key steps now once you are defining the strategy for industry 4.0 you will first of all identify the improvements within the industry or within the company what are the areas of improvement what are the, what kind of data you want to gather what, what kind of machineries you want to optimize right those kind of data you will try to analyze and you will try to gather so that you, there are these are the key areas of the improvement then you will also assess the challenges what are the challenges the uh, company has to face when they are going to implement the industry 4.0 beforehand you have to assess these kind of challenges as well as the improvement strategies then you also build the networks in the overall value chains starting from if we talk about uh, the suppliers to vendors and distributors as well as internal manufacturers you will try to build the network you will integrate the manufacturing with the help of data gathering <clears throat> so that kind of integration is also uh, been planned beforehand as a strategy right also you will upgrade the it infrastructure because conventional it infrastructure if it is not capable of uh, gathering the data because you are incorporating sensors actuators and uh, controlling the equipments as well so that you have to also upgrade the data infrastructures as it infrastructure as well also for this kind of uh, day to day task you also have to have the uh, and uh, skilled persons or skilled uh, employees so you have to also build the teams so that they can be distributed different tasks so that you can achieve the uh, successful implementations and finally you have to continuously improve right this is one of the you can say the kaizen uh, uh, 5s technology or you can say this total uh, quality management one of the technique continuous improvement strategy or kaizen strategy you have to apply so that at each and every stage you improve on yourself within the tasks that are given right <clears throat> so finally in uh, this phase once you have uh, defined the technologies in technology definitions you also have the supportive technologies what which we discuss the pillars of uh, industry 4.0 those definitions are also necessary if you are implementing the strategy right so two key phases are there in strategy first of all you will define the strategy you will follow certain steps as a stage approach and then you will also define the technologies not all technologies are relevant but whatever are key for the industry for the company you will employ those technologies within your company now far, finally in this lecture we have come about the adoption of industry 4.0 in a phase manner if we talk about on the axis axis if you see here the first is the ignoring in first phase you are in the ignoring phase right it means that you do not know the full fledged uh, benefits of industry 4.0 right in each stage you will start exploring the areas of improvements right areas of improving uh, implementing and improving within the industry 4.0 then you will try to standardize the methodologies and the protocols you will employ and then you will define each and every work instructions according to the industry 4.0 because you have changed the working environment based on industry 4.0 then you will adopt full full fledged industry 4.0 principles within your organizations and finally you will adapt or you can say you will flexibly adapt to the environment because you have already got the industry 4.0 working in your organization right as a philosophy so talking about on the y axis if you see different areas are there starting from security technology data leadership if we talk about the final stage for example in adapting stage in the which is the final phase of industry 
4.0 adoption timeline right where the industry 4.0 is successfully implemented within implemented within a company in security phase you have the adaptive securities <coughs> within the company right and it is fully automated as well as adaptive means it is flexible you can change it whatever the uh, demand is there you can easily change it in terms of technology you have predictive analytics is there right self optimizing machines and processes are there in terms of data you have integration of data throughout the value chain it means that suppliers from vendors as well as the distributors there all the data has been shared and it has been uh, you can say integrated as well right shared and integrated within the organization as well so that kind of uh, integration is possible once you completely implement industry 4.0 and finally in case of leadership you create innovative products and services because you are flexible enough in in technology with the case of data as well as in terms of uh, security all this enables to uh, gather and gather maximum knowledge and performance issues you, you can clear whatever the performance issues are there in terms of maintenance say for example right so it based on that you can create innovative products disruptive products and services for the market so that kind of uh, attainment can be happened with the help of the industry 4.0 but it happens within the phased manner if we talk about it. starting from the ignoring exploring standardizing adopting and finally adapting so that's all from today's lecture so in this lecture we started with the strategy what do you mean by strategy if the company wants to apply the strategic management in terms of implementing industry 4.0 what are the objectives if if we talk about a company particular company right uh, how do you define the strategy right in case of industry 4.0 some of the supporting technologies and we also looked into the general framework of stage wise implementing the industry 4.0 strategy right from starting from what is happening right and why it is happening and all of these stages and also we looked into this <coughs> before new product development we also looked into the adoption of industry 4.0 as a general implementations what are the phases finally so in next lecture we are going to look into the new product and process development phase which follows the strategy phase till then thank you very much